So we hear the HK TDC uh, with Roland Obst uh, of, of uh, Creative Chips. So what is Creative Chips? Creative Chips is a medium-sized German company founded in 1999 from uh, four German engineers, an independent German company in the field of uh, semiconductors. We are doing, uh, we are dedicated to application-specific ICs, ASICs, so-called ASICs, and to application-specific standard uh, ICs, ASSPs. We are focused on mixed signal and analog uh, ICs in the market uh, of automotive, industrial automation, medical applications and also to automotive industry. At the moment we are around 40 people, half of them are engineers. We are located nearby Frankfurt in Bingen, it's uh, a small city at the Rhine River, very fine landscape, wine and other stuff, and, but also uh, very interesting for electronic industry. And uh, our markets are, as I already told, uh, application-specific products in automation industry. That's our most important uh, so market. Automation is more important than uh, automobile. Mm, yes, we are, we we are trying to get uh, thirty per percent to automate automation, thirty percent to uh, automotive, and the rest for consumers. At the moment, we are in the range of around half of our products uh, for industrial automation, and we try to get a little bit more in automotive industry. But cons consumers also because of the volumes very interesting for us. One of our most important customers is uh, Brown from Germany. We are selling to them at the moment around uh, 10 million pieces for toothbrushes, which we uh, developed uh, some years ago and which we are. Uh, producing and selling to him uh, with uh, zero failure product. Zero failure. Zero failure. Uh, ten year, production fifteen year, twenty year. year uh, uh, around uh, around five years now. Five years yeah, it means it works. Yeah, what it does it mean? The, the, yeah, if you it, buy toothbrush, it's going to work yeah. forever. I don't know what what the customer is doing with the toothbrush, but <laughs> if if the toothbrush uh, is pr was produced, it, it's every time working. That's that's so our. How do you make a processor for target. toothbrush? What, how does what, it work? How, how is, is it? Is a processor right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's in the toothbrush. It's, it's a processor inside the toothbrush. It uh, deals with all. Uh, the issues what uh, electronical needs for for toothbrushes also for uh, charging purposes it's not so easy you know and uh, yeah all the processing uh, stuff you need for such kind of product sometimes the toothbrush i mean my philips has different modes slow str is it, yeah yeah it can it's also the ic would do that all all such kind of things the ic is doing that yeah of course and uh, toothbrush companies asking for more, maybe like. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice to have, for example, a toothbrush uh, analyze which part of the teeth needs more, mm -hmm. then they would have an alarm and say, "You're not." Uh, that's uh, that depends uh, to to our customer to decide whether uh, it will come in inside the IC or not. He is giving us a specification. We are developing the IC for for him with all this kind of. Uh, needs he he has in his spec specification and we are responsible later on that this all works very well in, in, in uh, serious production so you say i see i see is an integrated circuit yes it means there's a processor and what else mm, not only a processor could be integrated to a microprocessor and if you have a system on chip that's a great word at the moment for such kind of uh, ICs. If it has a system on chip, then you have also a processor inside, but not only. What we are doing is uh, mixed single and analog together with digital one. That means uh, you have uh, very high sophisticated analog parts inside, as for example amplifiers, as sensors, optical sensors, or uh, hall 
or temperature sensors together with the digital parts and these digital parts are uh, processing more or less the analog signals and uh, the whole system is uh, ready made to uh, fit into a system only with one chip to do all what is electronically needed there. That's the way. And it's from our side, it's a custom specific product that means the customer comes to us with a specification. We are developing it, we are producing it later on. We have our own test department in Germany there and we are selling it with a big series production uh, over hopefully a lot of years. Uh, do you use ARM architecture? Yes, we are using also ARM arch architecture. It's, it becomes more and more interesting for our customers, especially in the area of industrial automation. Now we are uh, using also ARM, for example, the smaller ones, ARM, Cortex, uh, M0, it's interesting for us, but also, also the other ones. So we also have some uh, very experienced engineers in our team, uh, fortunately. So we are able to do this. And I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a good future also for us to, to use ARM. Why is ARM a good future? Uh, why? That's a good question. Is it the, I, I like, think uh, it's, 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 a, it's a global standard already. Yeah, me, most of, of the customers are known this product, most of the customers are using it or, this already and uh, the development base at our customers is uh, available. That's also one big issue why our customers are asking for ARM and yeah, we will see. It depends from, the, from our customer. We can uh, tell them, okay, that's good for you or not. But uh, last not least, our customer is, uh, has to decide whether which kind of microcontroller or ARM core is integrated is later it, on. Is there an ARM in a toothbrush? No, no, <laughs> no not. it's not so. It's not, uh, not such a big. To, and you don't need to run Android on a toothbrush yet. <laughs> maybe later on. <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> maybe later. Maybe if we if, if we will add the toothbrush to the to the house network or something else, and maybe an ARM is. Uh, a possible feature. <laughs> so the parent can get a, a message to the smartphone if the kid didn't brush their teeth enough. Well, that's a good idea. I will tell it yeah. to the brown people. <laughs> so, uh, um, so uh, what is she showing here? Yeah, you, you can see our again our fab, our model, our business model. We are the fabless semiconductor vendor inside. We are responsible for all issues which are interesting and necessary to deal with the customer. We are using the wafer foundry here, uh, top left. After developing our ICs regarding the specification of our customer, we are sending the database to the foundry. The foundry is uh, producing at first sample wafers, of course, then later on we will send it to uh, the assembly house. There we, they get uh, the package, which is also uh, you, yeah, uh, necessary, of course. And uh, afterwards, uh, these assembled ICs came back to come back to our, our facility in Bingen, and uh, we have our own test department there, where we test our ICs 100%. And later on, we will send it to the customer. So like an IC that goes in the toothbrush, for example, is tiny, no? It's, it's little, very, little, little it's small very thing. small, yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, so it's made at the foundry somewhere. And so fabulous semi semiconductor vendor, and you are in Germany. How many are there in Germany that do something like what you do? Uh, yeah, there are some, not, not so much. Um, but uh, I think the, the fabulous model is, is uh, very interesting for a lot of, of uh, not only big ones, uh, but also for medium-sized companies, because uh, it's necessary to to spend a lot of money if you want to have your own uh, wafer production. In the last years, uh, with m more and more smaller uh, geometries in, in uh, semiconductor physics, uh, you need at least some billion US dollar to build up a new technology. That's why 
there is a specification also in, in this kind of, of production necessary and we are using the, the, the big uh, supplier in this case, these are TSMC in Taiwan of course, uh, XFAB in, in Germany with some, some global uh, parts and facilities and also some others. That's for us a very profitable uh, way to go. What is XFAB in Germany? What do they do? They are doing also wafer foundry business. They are only producing wafers uh, uh, which they don't design by their own. They get the database from, from the customers outside. They are producing it and they are selling the ready-made wafers to the customer. They, last not least, they don't know what is inside the wafer itself. That's the responsible of, of us. So it's not the global foundries in Dresden. It's another not, foundry it's, it's, somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 an it's in Erfurt. It's it's not global foundries. Global foundries also have uh, own products. They they have yeah. some s standard products. That's why they are more or less more well known. XFAP is also known for the for the insiders for the semiconductor industry because they they are uh, yeah. They are only a foundry. They are only uh, doing big, the, a big one. A, a big one, yes. Yeah. It's it's uh, at the moment. I think it's under the top ten of mixed single ASIC foundries worldwide. So, uh, how does it work? They get the the design from you, and yes. they just they make them like like this, or is there a whole bunch of uh, like uh, calibrations and slow process to make it all work, and then. Mm. Yes, um, what we are using are uh, ready-made technologies from, from the foundry. The foundry is uh, developing all the technology. They are giving us uh, a tool kit. That means all, uh, all necessary tools which are necessary to design exactly a chip to this technology that it works. We are using this tool kit with uh, some special uh, software, EDA software. We are using at the moment uh, uh, Synopsys, maybe there are only three big ones, this Mento Graphics, Synopsys and Cadence, you know. Uh, and uh, using these tools you are able to, to design a special IC which is working on this technology at the, at the foundry. That's the normal way also from TSMC, from XWeb2 of course. And uh, that's, that guarantees that afterwards uh, the IC will work in the same way as we it won't. Nice. So if you have a new design, you, s you send it digitally, yes. like an email yes. somehow, yes. Yeah, no. and it just goes a in the system. A little bit, yes, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. goes in the system, or oh, this very slow process of like reserving a whole bunch of area in the fab to like tune it properly before it comes out? No, it's a, it's a standard database we are using. It's GDS2, it's a database uh, many, many years old. It's, it doesn't change in the, in the years now, in the last 20 years. It's a standard database. We are, we are sending this database, which is uh, containing uh, all data for, for the mask. Uh, you know that our several masks are necessary to build up such a wafer later on where during production and the, the FAP is using this database to uh, produce the, the masks, the mask set which is necessary for production and with this na mask set and the technology uh, which is standard they are building up our wafer, we are producing our wafer, we get it back and they only, they only are responsible for uh, the technical specification of the wafer itself, not for the IC or for the, for the circuit we, we done, we, we designed. Uh, so uh, what are you doing here at the Hong Kong Fair, yeah. HKTC, are you looking for... We are looking of course for, for new partners, we are looking for, for customers, for projects. Uh, in our business it's not uh, the normal way that we get an order here at the booth. Uh, we are starting with contacts, with discussions later on, uh, if we would be happy to, to get uh, around five to ten new project opportunities with customers, that would be fine. And uh, of course marketing is also an issue to better known the, the uh, 
marketeer and uh, that the customer known us. And uh, on, on the other hand, it would be would be good to to get later on after discussions with the customer uh, one or two projects. That's it. That's what we find. Is your competitor, for example, TI? Not really. A, li a little bit. Not real because uh, they are very big. They have uh, their own standard products. They are. Uh, dedicated to, to special uh, big markets as uh, microcontrollers or special standard products. We are looking for uh, specialized products in the mixed single analog area where the customer needs uh, some special uh, specifications which are not available with ready-made, uh, ready-tailored uh, standard ICs. Is not Freescale neither, the competitor? Freescale also not. It's the yeah. same as TI. They are in yeah. the same branch because they also they, they all have their own their own standard product range and uh, with processors and with a lot of standard. Uh, so products. who's your competitor? Would you like to say? Yeah, there, there are some some smaller ones. Uh, for example, uh, in, in Germany there are, are some smaller companies which are not so well known here in. in uh, in, in, in Asia, Elmos, for example, it's for specialized for automotive or, or some, some, some else, some others. Cool, but you're the best. Of course. You are. That's why we are here. <laughs> yeah, like uh, worldwide, this this industry is this many different experts in this field, or mm. are you like uh, what? What would you say is why should people work with you? Yeah, uh, we are very specialized in analog mix single and. Uh, most of uh, design centers are able to do digital. Digital ICs to make is, is able up to, um, yeah, to, to, the, to the very well done technologies now up to uh, 32, 40, 24 or, or other nanometer technologies. But uh, not so many uh, companies are able to develop very good working analog and mixed single ICs. That's uh, that's our uh, know-how, what we have and what we can can offer to the uh, to the customers. And yeah, that that works. In the, in the past, we are now successful since since over over ten years now. We are. Uh, Earning our money since 2005 to live quite good and to live better and better, and hopefully in the future also with the Asian market. So the, this, the future is this just growth in the future. Yes, we, we want and to grow and we want to expand also here in Asia. That's why we are here. Can you explain just a little bit uh, the an analog, what it's good for compared to the digital, and when you do chips? That's a for. Yeah, for for the, for competitors or for customer? For for uh, for you, for, I mean for uh, for making a device, mm. you need the analog sometimes. Yeah, it, uh, it must be a mix. The best is a mix. Sometimes uh, the digital one is uh, bigger than uh, very often, but very often also such a kind of IC needs a small, high sophisticated analog part. And uh, on the other hand, maybe you have some, some uh, sensor ICs with uh, embedded sensors, optical hall or temperature sensors, which need some, some uh, specialized amplifiers. But on the other hand, also some, some analog digital uh, converters and to some controllers maybe later on and to, to give it to the digital world, which is behind. Then, then it's also uh, I see what we are interested in. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot.